three, two, one. And I'm back with another video. I got my boy Zach on the camera. He's real happy today. We're shooting a video for him after this, but we're kind of rushing things. So, anyways, as you guys know, I love fire. I love knives. And I love destroying shit. So as you know, there's been a trend going around where everybody heats up a knife to a thousand degrees and starts cutting a whole bunch of random stuff. So I didn't want to do the same thing as everybody else. I'm gonna step it up a notch. So instead, we got a machete, okay? This thing is no joke, real deal. Check this out. Okay, it's super sharp. Look at that. No joke. All right, so we got our huge machete. We gotta make sure this thing gets really hot. And to do that, we got not one, not two, but three blow torches, okay? Check this stuff out. So, that's not a joke, okay? We got three of these. So basically what we're gonna do is heat this knife up to a thousand degrees, but before we do that, we gotta build our gummy and we gotta build our oobleck, then it's time to destroy them. Okay guys, so to build the gummy, all you really need, oh my God, you need gelatin, okay? You need a lot of gelatin. Not as much as my other videos because this doesn't weigh like 200 pounds or anything, but you're still gonna need a lot of gelatin. You're gonna need your icing color again, okay? We're going with red this time and this time, to match it, I'm ditching the sugar, screw that shit. We got our super concentrated candy flavoring. This is watermelon flavor. It is delicious and apparently it's four times stronger than extracts, which is strong as hell. So this better do the job. We also got a shit ton of cornstarch, okay? This is for our oobleck. Oobleck is simple, it's just cornstarch and water. And then we may put some food coloring in after. Safety water. <laughs> Safety water, okay? Instead of mixing everything first, then boiling it and burning the pans, we're gonna boil the water first and then put it in. That wasn't this supposed to be your gelatin water. That's supposed to be your safety water. This is my safety water. Yes, your gelatin water goes in the other pan. So, this is gonna be the size of the giant jube jube, okay? So we're gonna fill this much water into this pot. I can't figure out these settings. Oh, there you go. It's much more graceful this way. Okay, so before we put the gelatin, we're gonna make sure the water's boiling first, straight to high. Now, in the meantime, let's make the oobleck. Okay, so while that water's boiling, we're gonna make the oobleck. Now, oobleck is really simple to make. It's literally just corn, oh my God, Jesus Christ. It's literally just a bunch of cornstarch and water. Clean as you go. The next and only real step to oobleck is just add the water. Oh my God. You know, we should probably add this slowly, but I don't really care. Oh my god, I love making this stuff. Fuck it, pour it all. Oh my god. Okay guys, so the oobleck's done. Now, if you haven't seen oobleck before, look at this, okay? Look at this, it looks like liquid, right? It looks like liquid, but then you punch it. And it doesn't do anything. Check this out. Oh, I love this stuff. Look at this, you can take it like this, and you can make like, like a big baseball. It's called oobleck juggling. You can't do that with a glass of water, but then look, look at this. Okay guys, so the water's boiling now. Oh my god, perfect. Now, let's put in all of our gelatin. Oh god. This, at no point in my life will I think this is good in any way. Ah. Okay, one more, one more bag. Uh, uh, ah. This smells so fucking bad. Ah. So all you guys must know, anything that's in a package like this fucking sucks to open, okay? And we got a machete lying around, so clearly there's only one option we have here. Oh. Perfect. Mix in our watermelon flavor. If this tastes good, this is gonna change my whole gummy experience. Oh, smell that. Mm. That smells... Wow, I can't even explain what that's like. That's just like the strongest tasting Jolly Rancher I've ever had. Icing coloring, that's probably enough. Fuck it, use it all. Oh yeah. Here we go. Smells 90% good, 10% like crap, because it still has a shit ton of gelatin, but here we go. Oh God. Now we just gotta put this in the freezer. I filled it way too much, that's where it's gonna stay. See you guys in a few hours. A few moments later. Okay guys, so let's go check on the gummy. Oh. Three, 
two, one. Oh, that's perfect. And it smells exactly like a Jolly Rancher, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so now it's time to heat up the machete. All right guys, so safety may not be the number one priority, but it's still a pretty big priority, all right? So we got our nice safety glasses. We got our gloves. Okay. And we also got our torching expert here. His name is Blade. Okay, so let's heat these things up. Nicely red. Yeah, it's not going to get much more than that. Alright guys, so we're going to cut it now. I think it's hot enough. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that's... Instant liquid, look at this. Wow. That's so easy. Oh my. Nice one. Do another one like on the end. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to leave that in our safety water for a little bit and get the U-Black ready. All right guys, so I did put watermelon flavoring in it this time, so I'm actually gonna give it a try. Get my nice slice here that's already molded back together. Honestly, it smells like nine out of 10 right now. It smells delicious. You didn't put sugar in it. I don't wanna swallow it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, so that's much better than before. But the texture is still incredibly bad. This is like a like a car tire, so it just it, when you bite it, it's just like coagulated grossness. All right, so this time we're gonna try to make this one even hotter. All right, guys. So right now we're trying a different technique. We're putting it along the blade, so it gets both sides at the same time. Ublack cools it down really fast though. You know, we'll just, uh, let's just leave that in there. Or maybe not, that's smoking a lot. Oh, God. Ublack is fucking indestructible, look at this. <laughs> All right, into our safety pot. That's it. All right guys, so I gotta give a huge shout out to my man behind the camera, Roy Rayner. So guys, we're about to film a video for him right now, okay? We made a thousand degree lightsaber. I Trust me, it's possible. And we're gonna be burning, hopefully, Darth Vader with it. It's a silver lightsaber. So I don't know how many likes I want in this video, just get as many as possible, okay? And comment down below if you want to see me heat up anything next. Who knows, I was at the store, I saw a sludge hammer, I saw an ax, maybe we can get a little crazy. So comment that down below what you guys want to see next. As you guys know, I always like to leave on a high note. I'll be darned. Wow. This melts pretty, this is a little melt. Get this corner. 